So here I am starting with the 100 day project. The project actually started officially a couple of days ago, but I haven't gotten to anything until now. And that's okay. Even though you're supposed to be doing 100 days of some particular project that you've selected, if you're not able to get to it every single day, that's okay. Nobody is looking over your shoulder, making sure that you're doing everything to the letter. Just do the best you can. The whole point of the 100 day project is that you are consecutively doing things again and again in a particular project that you've selected. So even if I can't get 100 days precisely on with doing Rolodex cards, I can probably get a lot done in the span of 100 days. And my personal goal is to have 100 Rolodex cards front and back completed. So last week when I put out my video kind of giving an overview of the project of what I want to do, um, I got some really nice responses from people encouraging me and sharing what they're going to be doing for their 100 days. Some people are also going to be doing Rolodex projects, which is nice. Um, and some people are disappointed that they don't have or they can't get a hold of a ro Rolodex easily. And I wanted to, to share some alternatives of what you can do. So this is a kind of standard Rolodex holder with cards in it. And then there is this one, which is what I'm going to be using is this one that goes from left to right. But if you don't have a Rolodex holder, there is something like this. And you've probably seen me share this already several times. This is a small composition notebook. And the only thing that has been done is each page is folded in half, just like this, no glue, no nothing, right? The whole thing, all the pages are folded in half and you get something like this. And if you use, for example, index cards, you can have a holder that is very, very useful and very cool. Look how good this looks with index cards. You can do ink box cards, ATCs, Rolodex cards, whatever, and you've got a really nice holder. If you want, you can ink the top of uh, the crease of these pages, it's, but it's not necessary. I, I kind of like it just like this. And of course, you can also decorate the covers. So that is one suggestion of what you can do if you want to do Rolodex cards, but you don't have a Rolodex holder. Now I have Rolodex cards, blank cards that are on this cardstock. These are created by Avery. That is the name of the company that creates these rotary cards as they are called. And they come with eight cards on a sheet. And I suppose like in this picture, the purpose was to be able to print things on it and you know use them in your Rolodex holders. But I am going to use them for making art. And the neat thing about these is that I can also do collage and then run them through the printer with some images over the top. So these cards are created by the Avery Company and each one is associated with a particular code. This is 5385. And the cool thing is that they create these templates online where you can download them and then use in your Word doc or whatever, I don't know, what kind of software you've got for editing things. I'm going to be using it in InDesign. I like that program from Adobe and so with that, I can design things in InDesign and then print out my cards. So I've started experimenting with some things on these templates. And as you can see, there is an outline of the actual rotary card. And I've just kind of placed some postal 
themed images on here. This one and this one. It's got some postmarks and airmail things. Um, this is a set of two so that you can do a front and a back of cards. And then I also have this set which has kind of just playing around with different kinds of pretty illustrations. So the plan is, is that I will take a set, a one page, and look at this almost like a map. If I know that this is up here, and this is in between these two, and this is across the top here, when I go to place my papers, I can kind of keep that in mind. So, and then once I'm done placing my papers and gluing everything down, I can put this through my printer and these things will come out over the paper, over the collage. Now, yes, I do have to be careful about what I collage and what I put on here. I'm not gonna put any thick papers. I'm not gonna put anything that's bumpy. I'm not gonna use any kind of um, modeling paste or anything that could possibly chip off or come off inside of my printer. I need to be very careful. But I've done this before and it has worked out fine. What I will do and what I will use are paper, pieces of paper only, thin pieces of paper. And I will use my glue stick to very carefully make sure that I have coverage on all the four corners before I put it down and just make sure that it's really attached well to the page so that when it goes through the printer, nothing gets pulled up or pulled off as it goes through the rollers. Okay, now what I wanna do before I start gluing down papers is I have some rubber stamps that I want to use as background. Well, there's no nothing there, but kind of hard to see. You'll see it as I as I stamp onto it. Okay, so this is kind of an apostle theme. So yay, I'm going to use postage stamps. I've got a lot of those, of course. I also have um, some, I have a bunch of Norwegian stamps. These are really kind of interesting, uh, these two colors. So I have to think about what I want to do with these. And I also have some interesting backs of papers. So it's the inside of the envelope. They've got some really pretty patterns. So I can use some of these papers as well. And then of course I have a whole lot of postage stamps. So I will just take some really pretty ones and um, see what I can do with them. Okay, so this is my map, so to speak, and I want to put down some some paper, some stamps. Um, I'm looking at the orientation. This is with the holes going to the right, and this is going left, so I need to turn this around. So now it does match. By the way, I am creating some of these templates and sharing them with everyone. I'm going to provide a link in the description, which is a link to a folder that has all kinds of printables that you can download and use to either create your own Rolodex cards or to collage on them print out and then cut things out to whatever size that you want, okay? The purpose of these downloads are for you to use them in your own collages if you would like. So I will have a couple of different types of files. Some of the files will have the outline of the rotary cards so that if you wanna cut them out and create your own rotary cards, you can or there will also be files that have no outline, and then that case, you can use them for whatever it is that you like. Some will be in the orientation, um, kind of an up-down like this, and then the others will be in an orientation that is left-right. So just look through the files and see 
which ones that you would like to use. I will make these available for free to everyone um, for the duration of these 100 days. And then after that, I will take down the access to this folder. The purpose is that I would like to encourage you to be creating some collage art, and that's what these printables are for. Okay, I've got some inks, and I am going to start with some backgrounds. Here is how my pages have turned out. So I rub really hard and maybe bend it a little bit to see if any of the edges are coming up. And I see some here, for example. So I definitely want to go over any loose pieces. Just make sure that they're really nailed down. Okay, that's good. And then here is the back, the back side. This one I left a little bit more blank. What I intend to do is once these are printed onto here, I can go over it again and add another layer of other things that I want to add. Maybe more rubber stamping, maybe more stamps, right? Depending on where what spaces are open and what it looks like it needs. But first, I want to go run this through the printer and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. All right, here is what it looks like, what my two pages look like once they've gone through the printer. This one turned out really nicely. It's super busy. Um, I can't tell if I like it or not. It's got a lot of things going on, so um, that's the way it turned out. This one has a little bit less going on. Also very nice. I need to add something right there. But otherwise, for the most part, I think I like it the way it is. Maybe something up here, but I'm not sure. So I have this stamp I can put. So now I want to glue these back to back. So I'm going to turn this and put glue on it. And then this one also will paste it on top of this one so that when I tear them out, they will be in a front and a back format. So what is the best way to do this? Um, I can use glue stick, of course. That would be the easiest, and I have a lot of this. And But I also have this Yes Paste. I have this. So let's see if I could use this to see. Let's see if I can get it on pretty pretty evenly in a very thin layer.
All right, here they are. Here are my eight cards. I do like the way how they've turned out. I think I did a pretty good job of getting enough things on different kinds of papers on. I also like the backgrounds. Overall, I would say this has been a success. So don't forget that you can download these printables. You can create your own Rolodex cards or any kind of index card or whatever you would like. Um, and I will continue to record my journey on this 100 day project. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you the next time.